Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Let's talk about healing. How do we heal? What's preventing us from healing? It is the fear of tapping into ourselves and finding that wounded, hurt child that is going to expose our wounds. We want to run away from all the noise that's in our head, but it still bothers us. So what do we need to do? We need to tap into our inner self. We need to find that place of peace where we can quiet our mind. We can quiet all that noise that's going on in our head and be able to connect with our heart. Once we open up, that heart is open up, it is ready to receive the love and peace from the source. And the source is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we allow the light from our Creator, we allow the healing, the peace from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to enter into our hearts. Because now the heart is open and ready to receive. And that's where the process of healing begins. So allow yourself to heal. A lot of times we come in the way of our own healing and our own growth. We have to allow the process to happen. That's when it starts. Some practical tips. Do adhkar and ibadah outside of the fard requirements. Means do more, more than the faraid. Because the five prayers and the adhkar we do after the five prayers are a basic expectation of a Muslim, a believer. But when you do more than that, that is when your relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grows. That is when your heart connects with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is when it opens up. That is when the nur enter your hearts. That is when the peace, the salam, it enters into your heart. And you build a very loving and caring bond with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So increase in your nawafil, increase in your adhkar outside your salah. And follow for more than your babbles.